Okay, I want to say hi again everybody and welcome to another video. It's a nighttime video here actually. Actually, it's already gone one o'clock in the morning and I'm still awake. In this video, I'm going to give you an update. Also, I've got some music playing in the background. I just made some music on my computer. Uh, if anyone likes any of my music, you can ask me and I'll be happy to send various tracks and stuff to people if there's any way you know, um, of, of sending you the stuff, so if you like any of my music or anything I do, any art and that, I'm grateful as I say. I'm also very grateful to friends of mine such as Jason Stork, who uh, includes a lot of my music in his videos, that's on his channel, at Mountainous, okay, he goes under the name of Mountainous on YouTube, great guy, you can find a lot of adventure videos there, videos out in nature, all kinds of stuff, snowboarding, short movies, BMX, survival type tactics types videos and stuff, um, fun stuff, music, um, ninja stuff and martial arts stuff which I always love to see, including some shooting videos and all kinds of stuff. So do check out Mountainous on YouTube, okay, um, he's a great friend of mine, I've known him for years and um, he um, always uses a lot of my music in his um, videos and, he, and he, he, he values my art as well that I do and um, I've even created an animated cartoon about him which I've only done a few episodes of this cartoon but I've been doing it um, one every now and then and I said I promised uh, Jason I'll be doing another one soon <laughs> um, I just get so busy you know um, as we all do um, anyway so as you guys all will have seen uh, recently as I say I've been very <coughs> as, I know, as I say I've had some of bad flu, uh, bad cold, I've been recovering from my bad cold and I just thought here in this video I'd have a chat with you guys um, you know of, of course uh, I do make like these deep talk videos too where I kind of speak about what you might call controversial topics and I go on these um, rants or whatever you may think it is like I speak about I speak my mind about certain things about society and nature and things that I, b I believe in and things I don't believe in. Um, so you know, this, you see a lot of different content. I'm not expecting everybody to think the same way as me, or I'm not expecting everybody to um, enjoy everything I do on my channel. <coughs> you see, <coughs> I do 2D art and animation, and I also do some 3D art and animation. Uh, recently, I've been working on. Um, a three, uh, I've been working on a 3D animated test type project. Um, thank you for all your support, by the way, guys, on everything I've been doing. Music on the side too. Um, everything. My comedy type stuff, my martial, martial arts videos too, and the punching bag videos, and the philosophy. And I know, thank you to all you guys. I'm not going to mention all of your names here, obviously. Reason being is because if I leave anybody out, it's worth another thing. So I want to say a big thank you to everybody. Thanks for the support on everything I've been doing, music, art-wise, mar martial arts, everything I've been doing. Okay, uh, it means a lot that some of you guys check out my other videos too, like that I've posted over the years on various other channels on YouTube. Because I started posting videos in 2008, and on every single channel that I've made, and it must be around. 20 or so channels on YouTube um, since 2008, um, around about, um, probably, let's say 15 to 20 channels, it must, uh, they may be a bit kind of exaggerating, but I've definitely made like, I don't know, anywhere from 30 something to 40 channels on various different platforms, but YouTube, I reckon there's definitely well over 10 channels I've made over the years. And every one of those channels you're talking about in the hundreds of videos. And some videos you'll get like four hours. And some videos will be like five minutes or two minutes. So it's, it's so much stuff I've done. I've done animation, I've done short movies. To which I want to say, again, thank you for anybody who um, likes any of my short movies I've done too. I've done everything from like sci-fi to some horror, a lot of comedy stuff as well. And then martial arts, of course, mainly which is my big passion in life, always has been. But of course, like, my big passion in life is art and doing a lot of art. I don't, I don't regard myself as the best artist in any of my crafts either. But it's like, I know what I love. I love to create, you know, and <clears throat> I'm a storyteller, I'm a writer. I, I, mean, I, I, do my own, I write my own, you know, scripts and stories. I want to 
tell my own stories I've always, always wanted to make my own movies or cartoons or anything like that you know anything like that books computer games comics I just love to create when I say that I don't mean that it's a loose thing like um, oh a bit of this a bit of that I just want to do some shit and mess around no it's like we all have to work but in our free time uh, that for me is not an escape that is my true passion I like to when I do like, my free time I, I, that's why I'm awake so late even now like it's like I put crazy amounts of time into my creation and passion I believe that's, the, that's what you live for and if, if you're lucky enough to or if you fight hard enough and you're able to find a way of making money and surviving off of your craft and your passion your craft and that's a good thing <laughs> that's, that's what you would aim for I think um, but anyway going back to what I was saying um, whether you can or you can't that's still I think your passions is what drive you in life and they can really um, that's, they're what hold you together I think as a true being it's your true peace on the inside and what you're all about you know because the world around you is not always what you're all about is it it's just it's, you're trying to find your place as such but it's like wherever you are it should be your place inside of you you are the centre of your own universe so to speak without sounding like an idiot by saying that but you know um, you know and that, yeah so um, as I say um, you know um, yeah and as I say I don't regard myself as a what's it, what's it, a jack of all trades master of none either no but I have I don't know some level of ability in different things and I enjoy what I'm doing and I, and I think it's the same for you whatever you do whatever you enjoy doing or you feel you have a skill for or you, you enjoy practicing and doing that's your thing you don't need to compare to others, you know. You can always learn from others and be inspired, but, you know, you find your way and enjoy what you do. Yeah. Yeah, so excuse me, I want to just say big thanks, thanks to, to everybody. Thank you for watching and supporting the man. You know, um, ha, um, as I say, Halloween's upon us. Halloween's coming very soon, whether you support that or not, but uh, whether you celebrate that or not, sorry. But yes, yeah, October the 31st. I always forget the date for some of these things like Halloween. October the 31st so Halloween's coming up uh, it's in the air and it's that time of year I still haven't seen that latest Halloween movie um, and I'm not up to date with a lot, a lot of like new horror films either it's funny because I love a lot of the 1980s movies and stuff but um, the 70s was an amazing time and it was really a great time for horror 70s and 80s uh, uh, and again martial arts movies too of course um, Kung Fu and stuff but Horror, horror movies in the 1970s there was a lot of stuff there was a lot of good ones and looking back you know because um, I've always loved the 80s as I say but looking back there's so many movies that I've not seen that are from the, from the 70s and I, I sometimes do these um, searches for stuff you know like old classic movies and stuff even old old stuff 40s, 50s whatever black and white stuff but I'm just saying like um, 50s, 50s, 60s whatever but it's like looking back at the 80s and the 70s like there's lots of old what do you call those B movies like sci-fi and horror movies and stuff that um, I like to watch now if you want to talk about kung fu movies man I know I, I'm, I'm an absolute fanatic when it comes to the 1970s kung fu movies I could you know only hardcore people are going to know some of the movies I know I've, I've been a long time collector of kung fu movies right so 1970s you know kung fu movies and me yeah but, um, when it comes to manga and anime um I started uh, watching manga stuff and anime stuff, uh, Japanese and animation uh, cartoons and certain ones. I got involved with that, that and finding out about that back in the 1990s. And the ones I was actually watching were actually ones that were created either some in the early 90s, but some of them were created like in the early 80s to mid 80s. Um, uh, it's it, yeah. Um, a lot of people knew about like manga and, and Japanese like stuff like that from computer games and stuff like that, especially in, in London, in England, where I come from, in England. Um, we, we knew about it from that. We didn't really... And before Sky TV came out and stuff, you know, if any of you know what Sky TV still is or, or, or cable and that sort of stuff, before that even came out, we didn't even ever see any... I never saw any manga, anime movies... I never knew what manga, Japanese, like comics were or anything. Um, you know, I just knew various computer games, you know. And I used to play that Street Fighter in the arcades and stuff, you know. And, 
and uh, I got into games obviously in, in, in the early 90s and stuff you know but the thing is I was born in 1982 but um, you know some people um, older than me and you know things like you know uh, ZX Spectrum and Amstrad and these really really old uh, Commodore 64 and stuff like that you know which, I, which I've seen and heard of and I know I know people that have had them and that I've seen them and that you know yeah um, but you know uh, I'll talk about my games uh, history and gaming and stuff um, later on but you know but I'm a hardcore Street Fighter fan I'll say that um, but yeah when it comes to manga I remember I started to collect a magazine called Manga Mania you may have know you may know of that Manga Mania uh, a, a comic basically um, manga and it was like one where it was like all based on Akira if you've seen Akira so I'm a fan of manga, I'm a fan of martial arts, anime and all that, and kung fu obviously and all of that stuff. And especially manga cartoons where martial arts is like either the main thing of what it's about or, or a lot of martial arts in that. So <clears throat> that's where it's different with me. So I, I like certain kinds of anime. Like a lot of modern kids now of nowadays know things like... Um, what Naruto and stuff like that. A lot of people knew about Dragon Ball Z. Obviously, I know it's very popular in America. I think, right? I think it's been more. I think manga's been more known and anime's been more known over over there. Um, to England, I'd say, compared to England, but um, compared to uh, in England, but um, you know, what I got into was Fist of the North Star. I just love that, and obviously um, because I was a fan of Street Fighter before they even. Um, Especially in my early days when I started learning karate as well, and then I watched I watched the Street Fighter to uh, the animated movie, the Japanese uh, cartoon, and I found it amazing, you know. And I love the martial arts in it and everything, you know, and the story. There's something real about it, you know. It's just it's a special connection people get with certain things, isn't it? <coughs> um, anyway, yeah, so. That was that, and I, um, I've always favoured like martial arts type stuff, and then like action and uh, over, um, let's say your your other like superheroes and Marvel and DC and all that stuff. I've always preferred gritty martial arts, oriental like martial arts, um, or with weapons, be it ninja stuff, samurai or karate, kung fu, all that kind of stuff. I've preferred that there was something more real about it you know so even even in any films i'd watch if i saw any sword fighting or anything i was never into like bodybuilding so i never got big and all the rest of it in working at that kind of stuff but whenever i saw movies even old movies with like um arnold schwarzenegger even things like conan the barbarian or whatever it might have been if i see a guy swinging a sword and how they're actually blocking and fighting i'd watch anything whatever come on the tv xena warrior princess whatever it was you know it was on tv i just watched the way they'd fight hercules the old stuff that used to be on it could have been anything it could have been scenes from star trek the next generation with commander data the, the android fighting against some aliens or something if anyone was doing martial arts stuff i'd watch it scenes in the old classic old old james bond movies if they were fighting i'd watch how they're fighting you know i was i was always into the martial arts aspect so growing up obviously watching all my favorites like jackie chan jet lee tamar hung van damme all that you know obviously jean claude van damme and all that as well all, all the classic martial arts stars as well as you know uh, Steven Steven Seagal, I'm a massive fan of Larry Tatum. I could talk to you forever about when it comes to martial arts stuff, you know. Um, got so many um, idols of mine as such, people that I respect in the martial arts. You know, you got Cynthia Rough Rock, you got obviously Donnie Yen, obviously. But uh, I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm just saying that short in short here. But you know, so. What was I saying anyway? Going back to what I was saying in the 1970s, now back in the 70s, there was a lot of um, you know horror films and stuff that I've not even seen before, and you know sci-fi stuff, like B movies and stuff. You know. Anyway, um, yesterday, um, no, earlier on, actually it is yesterday now because it's nearly half past one in the morning. But um, earlier on, let's change this music for one second in the background to another track I created. But um, earlier on, I watched um, a horror movie, and the movie's name. Hold on, the movie's name was um, Ch- 
children, okay? Children shouldn't play with dead things. <laughs> yeah. This is more music that I've made here in the background I'm playing. But, um, yeah, um, children shouldn't play with dead things, okay? It's a, a zombie film, basically, about zombies. It's a crazy, it's sick, twisted, fucked up, if you ask me. And um, just crazy, outrageous lunacy. I mean, some people likened it to um, a little bit like um, Scooby Doo in some ways, but it's just classic thing, you know, <coughs> bunch of young motherfuckers mucking around, go to the woods. I don't know if you've ever seen it, and they find this old house and they stay there. They end up raising the dead uh, by digging up bodies. <laughs> and doing silly mucking around stupid stuff and then what happens is you know, loads of zombies come and they just start surround the house and everybody's fucked basically but it's this movie called um, children, it's called uh, children shouldn't uh, shouldn't play with dead things and it's like uh, creepy, there's no children in the movie it's only um, adults obviously, like young adults but it's just a horror movie I thought it was really creepy but the ending parts of it <laughs> scary and satisfying the way it was done, it's like it's a fucked up mad movie it's like, insanely cr silly crazy but um you could watch it i might leave the link in the description below below this video if you want to go and check that video out and let me know what you think of it i found it it was part of a list like a playlist of 1970s horror movies that people have posted you get these playlists and stuff you know feel free to let me know some classic movies out there that you you think i should check out too um, I might leave the list, I might leave that playlist link actually in the description to this video too, if possible. Maybe you can, maybe you can check some movies out on there too, and we can have a look. I want to, because the thing is I want to find some horrors to watch over Halloween, you know. <laughs> just going. Yeah, so anyway, um, I thought I'd just quickly say, um, so I've been pretty busy as I say, um, I've been trying to heal with my flu. Um, there'll be more martial arts stuff on the way, videos wise, but it's like, I do what I can with those those punch bag videos I've done. Like recently, I've uploaded like six martial arts related videos, but like the the four main punch bag videos where I'm standing there like training hardcore on the bag, like punching and kicking and everything. Those four I done a couple of weeks ago, but like, before I got really sick, you know, like two one week and then two the other week. And I've only just uploaded them as I said. I've been really busy been busy and trying and I haven't had time to do everything as I say I've got a lot of stuff going on I haven't had time to work too much more on certain projects too like I've been working very hard on learning about Blender as you know the 3D software I've been working on this um, animated show this 3D show I'm doing um, and it's coming on really well I'll just tell you that okay but um, come against some I come up against some like issues with it the editing and the um, animation too, it's, as I say it's a rough test first like 3D animation thing for me that I show but it'll be ready soon okay uh, Brock, uh, Brock Ruthless as I say and it's coming up soon I hope you enjoy it for what it is uh, it's done I'm just working on the animation now I've got to really get in, into that and get it sorted um, my um, 2D shows okay yeah I've got some a uh, various um, 2D animated cartoons I've got coming up. One's going to be like a rotoscope kind of one, a project I'm just doing because I used to be I used to be against rotoscoping where people draw over actual video footage frames and make to make the art. I used to think, well, that's just cheating and stuff, you know. Because, but I looked at it like I do a lot of different kinds of art. I love 2D and I do freehand 2D art, of course, too. But I think it's a good way to practice your art too. And not only that, I've seen some really good effective stuff that people have done like actual even real anime cartoons where people have actually drawn over video footage live action footage but they've drawn the art and it doesn't mean to say that we draw the people exactly as what you see in the video you draw and you design the characters to make your, your own characters obviously and the way they look and everything but to get those fluid movements and the frames you know and everything and the sh shots you need it's a good way you can film up your own sh shots for some clips some clips you can find online and just use those so I'm going to be putting this show together I've, I've written a little script the good news is I've wrote a script like a little mini script thing 
and I'm going to put together this first episode of this uh, cartoon. So we've got the 3D thing coming up, plus this 2D rotoscoping one, plus another idea I have for another like rough 2D martial arts type cartoon, which is a, another thing on the side as well. I'll tell you about more of that, even when that comes pretty soon. But these other two are definitely coming up. Another, also another another rough one on the side for a fourth project is um, I was having an idea about doing a fun kind of South Parky looking horror slash comedy slash almost like Scooby Doo type thing, but not like that kind of a look, like but South Park kind of a look, uh, a rough comedy horror type show. I was thinking to do too. So that's another thing. I'm not too sure yet because I'm just getting a spooky mood because it's Halloween, you know, and stuff as well, you know, coming up. But yeah, so I'm, I'm going to stop this video. That's basically what I wanted to say. I'm happy everybody's enjoying what I'm doing. Just take your pick. Just watch whatever you will of whatever I do. I don't expect everybody to follow whatever I say and agree with whatever I think. I, I try to do very various different martial arts videos too, as you've seen. I'm covering my Wing Chun as usual, covering some bare hand traditional type flowing skills and stuff too. If you'd like to see anything more in, in particular or anything about working out or martial arts, just let me know. I do the punch bag videos as you know too. But I'm going to stop this video here, okay? Um, another thing before I go, I'll just tell you one more thing. We should stop this music. Uh, I want to say one more before I go, I'll tell you. There's a couple of um, other channels on YouTube I'd like you to check out. Um, and, um, there's one um, <coughs> called um, <coughs> Wonder. It's called Wonder. And there's a lot of documentaries on there under the title uh, I, I Shouldn't Be Alive, I think it's called. Uh, about these documentaries about survival and stuff. They're pretty good. And there's another one I've just found. It's crazy. F oh, my goodness. It's intense. It's crazy. There's a channel on YouTube called... Only Human. These are channels we're talking about. Okay, Only Human. And there's people. All kinds of people. You can imagine. If you just check it out, Only Human. There's a channel on YouTube where all these people with rare conditions or lifestyles. And some of this, some of this stuff's scary. Some of this stuff makes you just feel sorry for people. And some of this stuff you think that they're fucking out of this planet, man. No offense. <laughs> very um, very um. I don't know what to say. But, um, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching, and um, I'll just talk to you guys again very, very soon, okay? So that's what's coming up, as I say, the 3D um, show, as I say, that 3D um, thing, Brock Roofless, that is coming up soon, it's like rough, as I say, but I hope you enjoy my 2D rotoscope projects. I'll be doing my own art, as I say, my own characters, my own designs, a lot of it's all it's all my own stuff and styled and the backgrounds too and everything but I'll be ex experimenting with some rotoscoping shots for certain shows to get that nice look hopefully um, they'll turn out right okay pretty good there's no name as such yet for this show but that's what's all c also coming up they're going to be short little cartoons so I'll be able to like a few minutes long each so I'll be able to work on the clips and make them nice because I've got to draw all the frames and everything obviously uh, I'm going to try to like work with less moving backgrounds like just to have one shot in the background for so, I mean it doesn't mean I can't do motion comic type stuff with like the pieces moving and other effects to give depth and stuff you know that 2.5D type stuff but I won't go into boring you here so I've got 3D stuff and 2D stuff on the way around and um yeah, and um, as I say, uh, thank you very much. If anyone's still interested in getting any um, 3D models I make or any art or anything or music that I make or anything else you'd like to know, uh, you know, feel free to ask. Okay, <coughs> I'm working on things to make things available as well and um, uh, different methods. And um, you know, as I say, I'm happy, happy to share more information about martial arts too. So you take care of yourself, everybody, and always be safe wherever you are. Don't rush around. You know, always be safe and, you know, just keep aware because this world's full of all kinds of stuff. Anything can happen anytime, you know. Be aware on the streets or anywhere. Be safe. Take care now.